Well, friends, before we get into SPSS and demonstrate how we conduct linear regression using that powerful piece of statistical software, I thought I might just take a moment to talk to you about the process for writing research questions for a linear regression problem. Now, now, quantitative analysis requires the researcher to write research questions. All research requires questioning, even if it's qualitative. Now, in quantitative research, these questions also require research hypotheses. And of course, linear regression is no exception. The key to writing research questions for linear regression relates simply to understanding what linear regression does. Linear regression looks for correlation between two variables and then attempts to see it develops a model by which one predicts the other. Linear regression is founded in correlational research. Let that sink in a minute. Linear regression is founded in correlational research. It is about a relationship between X and Y. Now, I'm going to astound you with the depth of this sample research question. Here it comes. Does a relationship exist between the total enrollment and the part-time enrollment for public degree-granting two-year colleges in Texas for 2011. Now, obviously, guys, I've just developed a, uh, a database and, and a data set. Uh, I've obviously extracted for two-year degree-granting public community colleges in Texas in 2011 the total enrollment and the part-time enrollment. Uh, does a relationship exist between the two? That's the question. I don't know whether the question ought to be asked or not, but that is the question. Now, of course, this is similar to a res uh, correlation research question. Notice, does a relationship exist? This is worded exactly like a correlation question. And this is question two. Do you remember what question one was? Correct. You asked for the descriptives first. What are... <laughs> The, the total enrollments and part-time enrollments for public degree-granting two-year colleges in Texas for 2011. Question two, does a relationship exist? Then you move to the methodology. You must answer this question with a correlation evaluation and the development of a linear regression model. You ask the question, your methodology, you're going to examine to see if a correlation exists, and then you're going to provide a linear regression model whereby one can predict the other. Now, here's some sample research hypotheses. So your null hypothesis is that no relationship exists, and your alternate is, is that a relationship exists. That's not very complex, is it? You have a descriptive question, your methodology question, and then your research hypotheses. In answer to the research question and the research hypotheses, you will provide evidence of a correlation between the two variables. If the correlation is adequate, you would then provide a simple linear regression model for the two variables. Now, the key to that is adequate. You would set that level of adequacy as a researcher. Your prediction model would be in the form y equals ax plus b. Now, guys, all of you statisticians out there are just having a cow right now because I said y equals ax plus b, and I didn't say y equals b plus ax. Well, get over it. Y equals AX plus B is algebraically equivalent to Y equals B plus AX. Get a life. We nerds don't need to tear each other up. We need to stick together for our own good and our own survival. This is the old dog saying, live long and prosper. Thank you very much for your support. Again, your patronage keeps my family fed, and I appreciate all that you do for me. Have a blessed day.